Hey, my Scorpio friends, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. You guys, please remember to give this video a like. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. All right, let's have a look at your love reading this week. Sorry, actually, this is your general reading. Sorry, Matt. This is your general reading for this week. Oh, oh, Scorpio, you are in your power this week, my friend. You are in your power this week. Oh my gosh, you guys are finally embracing something about your femininity, something within yourself that you shut off in yourself that you were suppressing. A lot of you guys were suppressing a part of yourself that's very open and giving and loving and sweet because others hurt you. Okay. But you can wait, it's like you need to surrender to that new perspective. I don't know if you really want to, but some of you guys, like, this is kind of how you are naturally. So it's okay to embrace the certain aspects of yourself that you might not really fully embrace all the time. You need to embrace it, okay? You guys are like really stepping into like your animal energy, like your um like a very primal, natural part of you that's very desire driven. Yes. You guys are living in your energy and living in your truth. You guys are living in your truth. This week. Oh my god. You guys are also coming out of something like well, well, okay. Right. Okay, you guys are moving on from something. You guys are moving on from the past. You're moving on from a toxic cycle. You're putting down the baggage of a connection, of work, of dealing with karmic people at work, of um, feeling defeated, beaten down, stuff like that. You're putting your you're putting down the baggage of it and going towards your um, you know your peace. And it, you know you don't know where it is yet, but you're trusting that there's peace and there's peace coming along the way because I'm seeing right here you're gonna get some recognition. Something that you're doing at work, you're gonna get a lot of recognition at work this week. Um, and and there's a lot of love for you just in general. There's a lot of love for you available in your life. There's also a lot of love from your person. You're in a you're with a person right now. There's a lot of love that this person is wanting to offer you this week. Okay, we're gonna get into it. Okay. Okay. Wow. You guys are gonna be so in your power this week, and it's because you guys are seeing your wishes come true. You're seeing a desire reach manifestation. You're experiencing great pleasure and delight because of something that you because it because you can you um it's almost like something is kind of happening and maybe there might be not be ways that you can explain it it might be happening through means that you cannot explain or you cannot deeply understand but it's coming to you things are happening to you and you're getting your wish come true it's breaking you out of a karmic cycle this is very deep and transformative and it's around your career your finances your family, your home, your life, this is all around everything and the decisions that you've been making. You guys are like Scorpio. I know for a fact that the energy you're in now is not the energy that you're going to be in, in this week. Your energy right now is like you're more focused on love and connecting and you're focused on your spiritual union, obviously. It's a spiritual union part. You're focused on like your 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 faith and like your person and and your you know what i'm saying and loving and all that stuff and connecting with others in, a, in an emotional way but what's the energy that's hitting you this week is like you're gonna like see like a manifestation energy like something manifest that you've been waiting for for a long time it's like the manifestation of god god is gonna come down this week and he's gonna show bring you something that you've been wishing for like this is major this is a big deal it's a bigger deal than it's feeling right now because it feels like whatever this is it's here to stay and so um this is like another indicator for me that this is not something that's going to fly in and out of your life whatever is arriving this week that you've been waiting for is coming in because god is literally handing it to you it was it's something that when you get it you're gonna be like yep this is all mine so you're not gonna be one you're not gonna you're not even gonna budge you're not gonna be like is this mine are you sure are you sure you're completing that cycle even if you used to do that being uncertain about certain praise like when people praise you or you get success be like oh well then they're gonna do it no you're not you're not doing that anymore because you know why you was doing that before in the past it was behind these karmic fucks that didn't want you to have it that's always what it is that's what, in the general readings you're gonna talk a lot about karmics so if you love the karmics a lot of you guys have the karmics 
You guys like the car meeks? Come mm -hmm. through because we're gonna talk all about car meeks, okay? You guys are gonna be you guys are recognizing how someone is a karmic and also how certain things that had happened before why it had happened was because it was for your protection. Because you was around a lot of car meeks, okay? It was a lot of car meeks. So you guys are recognizing divinity, your divine masculine as well. They're stepping up for you, having your back, protecting you. You know, you're knowing that this person is not just your, your back, your sides, you know, your front. Like this person is, you know what I'm saying? That's the energy, like, you know what I'm saying? And this person is like right behind you. You, if you, A lot of you guys, you have a husband or a boyfriend who's like, if there's issues at home, let's say you're having issues with your family and this is your husband or your boyfriend, they roll up with you and be like, yo, and, <laughs> and argue too, but like in style, you know what I mean? They're not going to do it to be like, but if you tell me you have an issue, this person makes phone calls and stuff like, people don't mess with you because they know they have to deal with your husband or they have to deal with your person and you're getting some recognition because I feel like a lot of you guys, you didn't have that before or like you're understanding how the paranoia that you previously had in love and romance or when it came to whatever this is, came from the fact that you didn't have that protection that other people had, and now you do. So now people are like recognizing who the fuck you are. You know what I'm saying? And yo, if no, what the hell is wrong with me? Yes, my mom and dad were perfect. To see your hair, no bitching that's crying for me. Yo, that song is popping in my head right now. That's definitely playing in the extended, you guys. Yo, you guys are, I'm, I feel you guys rock. Like, I don't know what is going on, but I just feel like. Yo, what are you guys into? <laughs> Yo, Scorpio, you guys are getting recognition out the ass, and it's and, and it's like you're getting the recognition at work too. But it's like anybody who tries to step to you, they're gonna recognize that your divine masculine is not one to mess with. Like especially if they're with you already, that's it. Like they're gonna roll, they're gonna get a phone call, and I feel like that's what it is. Everybody dreads the phone. <laughs> Everybody dreads it because <laughs> this person makes mad threats, you know, and they're going to and they carry out on their shit, man. They carry out. So you guys are mad powerful. Oh, my God. You're manifesting something so strong. Woo! Scorpio. Why do they do that? I don't know. Because uh, it's a lot of times it's like, I don't want it. We don't even want to come out of pocket. But it's like niggas pull us out. But now you understand what's because they're karmic. That's why they do that. So that's the baggage you're putting down. That's what you're realizing. And that's what, boom. Because I feel like this is, it's, you know, you're moving on. And this energy here, <laughs> this energy here, it's like, it's like, you know, you learn the lesson. So now you could just be in your heart. Now you could just be with your person. Now you could just be committed. Now you could just, you know, know you're be with your faith and be happy and be, you know what I'm saying? There is some, I'm hearing throbbing going on, but it's because you're going, walking away from something that doesn't serve you. It's causing the throbbing, okay? But you, but in a few days or like a few hours, actually, you're not going to feel throbbing anymore. Some of you guys are having some part of your body throbbing. It's going to go away in a little bit. It's just a part of walking away from something emotional, emotional alliances that didn't serve you. People who like, just like, who were like latching onto you, but like they just didn't serve you. And you guys are walking away from that. So because of that, it's like you're getting an upgrade. Your body is getting a physical upgrade. And you're going to see that this week. You might be in pain. You might be in pain right now. But this week, when you start this week, you're going to realize why you were in pain. And it comes from some deception and envy that someone put on you, okay? That you're healing right now. Oh, someone is like, you have a lot of evil eye sent your way. A lot of people. <laughs> Yo, Scorpio, what are you guys getting into? But you guys are not doing anything. I feel like you guys are just out here. Mad jealous. A lot of people are full of lack, you know, like a lot of you guys are understanding this, like whoever these people were, or whatever the situation was, it was like these people were just full of lack. Okay. Somebody got shut down or somebody might be, get, be getting shut down this week. And it's because whoever these, whoever these fuckers are, they were just full of lack. But I feel like most of you guys, you're not even going to, if you're getting shut down this week, you don't even care. You don't give a shit. Like you, it didn't even phase you. It did not, it did not. It did not stick on you at all. And you did not realize it. That's the thing. You didn't realize that it didn't stick. You just kept going. And then now you're thinking about it. You're like, actually, I'm realizing that. Actually, that didn't bother me that much. I mean, it did. I mean, I, I don't like it, but I'm like, well, I'm not going to. I wasn't responding the way I normally do. Like somebody could be trying to trigger you or something happening in your work life and around you, you know, that triggers you normally because you give a lot of energy to it. But you're not giving energy to it anymore. You're not giving energy to what people say anymore. You're not giving energy to, to being cut down, to feeling down, to feeling like you can't have things, to to, to to believe that tell you that, oh, you can't, or, 
oh, it's not going to work or, oh, you have to deal with loss. Like you guys are seeing how those belief systems, how they actually kept you on a path where you were honestly going to get that. And it's because you withdrew from it that you don't have those issues anymore. You know, why should you have to worry about certain things? And that's what you're going to realize this week is certain things. You know, you have all the lack cards out here right now. Every single one. All the lost cards. A lot of you guys were having a lot of things taken from you. Some, some of you guys physically, emotionally, mentally, your your faith, your belief, your trust, your your smarts, your intelligence. People might have stole your stuff. Academia, you know, academic, you know, theft. People stole your shit. But you're going to get some recognition, especially somebody who stole your shit in academia. You're going to see somebody who stole your shit get some fucked up shit. Yo, it's crazy. You're going to hear about it. It's crazy. You're going to be like, huh? Yeah, this person was an academic thief. It was Scorpio. Some people are just really selfish. Like, and that's just it. All right. So this week, you guys are getting a confirmation, validation, victory. And you guys are acquiring some prosperity, money, um, a better payment, better job, promotion because of some heartache or loss that you are healing, coming out of feeling manipulated, healing um, a, a traumatic wound of feeling not good enough, feeling not accepted, and um, brought in, like, I feel like a lot of you guys, like, it's like the possibilities ended up being turned against you because of this wound, okay? Something happened to someone and you felt like, oh, why did that happen to them? But you didn't understand that, they, oh, you guys, it feels like it's the place you're from. Okay? Because I'm seeing an area code. So it feels like it's like the area that you're from. The people there were just really mean. And you, they were all really, these people were really broken down and sad and like down about shit. These people were all really down, like very much filled in contrast. But every single one of them deserved what they were getting. Every single one of them. You know, but none of them could see it. You know, and that's just what it was. And so a lot of times they kind of like projected things onto you where you like felt really shut out. You felt really like, like you weren't a part of things like, like, you know, people thought that you were not like one of them or something like that. Like you really felt separate from this group. You did Scorpio. You did. This is like maybe a place that you grew up at or maybe a place that you're living at right now, but you're getting some prosperity that is affording you an ability to move. You guys are starting to make more money at your job. You're going to get a promotion. You're going to see this week. You're going to be like, Oh my God, I can move from this place. I can move to my dream home. Some of you guys, you want your dream home, but, you always felt like you couldn't really have it, and it's because of the deep wound, you know? And you're healing that deep wound this week. You, some of you guys already healed it, but there's something you're around a loss. What is this loss? And it's a loss of love. You guys, all oh, that's what it is. You guys, like, you guys were afraid of losing love. You guys were you're heartbroken already because you lost the love. Or, you know, you, you have people in your life that you felt like, oh, I love them. I don't want them to be gone. But these people separate themselves from you. These people were, I feel like if you rewind back to that time, you will understand why your leg is hurting right now. And it's because these people literally, like, they dragged you by your legs and stuff. These people were, like, barbaric because they were so, yo, I'm hearing your sister was so jealous. Like, that girl, when she was yelling at you, it was all jealousy. She was like, how come she gets it? Like, this girl was, like, Cruella, like. Don't, don't mind her ignore her that's the kind of person that she is but that's why she's going she's having that fate that she's having you guys need to trust your intuition trust your crown chakra come out of worries don't worry about people people get the fate that they deserve don't care some people are just really fucked up just don't give a shit and i feel like once you cut this person off you're getting this yo scorpio you just healed something inside of you just clicked or it's going to be clicking in you soon it's going to heal the crap out of you and you're going to be like facts and you're going to understand why you got a message you guys need to withdraw from everything that's everyone that's making you worry you know don't worry about other people people get you by making them worry about you oh i'm dying of cancer but they were raping their daughter the whole time and they're being manipulating you you know grooming everybody so that nobody would believe their daughter like this person was not fuck they deserve to die and not be able to say a fucking word as they die you know who the fuck I'm talking about. They were fucked up. And you're getting a confirmation. You're getting victory and success. Because a lot of you guys suppressed this. You might have felt this, but you didn't want to say it out loud. You know, you didn't want to dare to offend this person, this other person that's around them, this other karmic. But you guys are stepping into your power and you're realizing, yeah, I do believe that that did happen. And I do believe that that's why that happened to him. You know, you guys are getting a confirmation, a major victory, major victory around all around abundance. And you guys are stepping into your fucking power. Okay? Something around your happiness, something around your family, your family, they're about to understand who the fuck you are, Scorpio. 
they do not know who you are. They like to act like they think that they know. Like these people act like to act like, oh, she's harmless, da -da -da, or he's she's harmless. They're about to understand that you are not one to fuck with. Whoa. All right. Scorpio, we're going to extend this reading because I need to know more about this situation. You guys, follow me. The link is down below in the description bar. Scorpio, for some reason, y'all are heating up this week. But I'm with it. Come through. Okay. I'll see you guys in a video. Bye.